Everybody people, everybody bleed, everybody need some, everybody love, everybody know. I've been knocking door down like a Jehovah Witness God is my witness, I'm witness But on the real, I think I need another witness If it was 17, 17 Black daddy, white mama wouldn't change a thing Light-skinned motherfucker certified as a house nigga Well, I'll be goddamn gold figure And my blood is the slave and the man Yo, we're to give an ace friend. Today I'm going to be doing some kind of weapon review, also a little bit of a rant because today we're talking about the bar. Now, in the background, you're going to be watching some gameplay with the bar dude up, and this gun is so nice. I really like this. I got opened up a hundred supply drops the other day, and I got a load of sick variants. So, if you want to see gameplay with all of the best heroic and epic variants in the game, definitely subscribe to the channel. But yeah, anyway, let's, let's get into this. So, first of all, this um this variant is really nice. Like the it kind of it gets different iron sights to the base bar, which some people don't like but I actually really like these iron sights it kind of I don't know it just makes my accuracy so much better which is weird because that's kind of like the controversial subject at the minute these guns which have like different iron sights they're kind of like are they stat changing or are they not like some of them they genuinely feel better like this one to me feels way better than the base variant so it's kind of like is it fair that I've got that and other people don't? I don't think it is. There's other variants like the PPSH Duck Soup and stuff like that. A lot of the pros are saying that it's got like no recoil compared to the actual PPSH and they think that it's really unfair. And I'm kind of, I'm willing to like side with them. I think these variants are like really OP. I'll be interested to see what you think. Leave your opinions down below in the comment section. But yeah, anyway, the bar actually did get nerfed the other day again. So the gun's already been nerfed twice. And I hate to say it, but the gun is still OP. The gameplay you're watching in the background, I don't know what it is. It's probably like just like a cheeky little streak, but um, I'm using the bar that's been nerfed twice. So this gun should be really crap. It's been nerfed twice, but it's still the best gun in the game. And it's so frustrating because if you're someone like me, I like to have a variation of guns. And when everyone's just using the bar, it kind of makes it impossible to have fun using other guns because you get slapped by everyone. The bar is unbelievably good. And it just makes the game painful to play. Like I don't, I don't know why they don't just nerf it completely because it's the same every single year. Like last um, Call of Duty Sledgehammer made the made Advanced Warfare, and you had the Bal and the ASM1. They were the only two guns that were used, and it got so boring fast. And I would hate for that to happen with this game. It's already starting to happen because every game you'll go into, there'll be at least like five people using the bar. And the really annoying thing is, is because. Every um, like other gun is really well balanced and then you just have the bar that is super overpowered and it just the game could be really good like all of the SMGs are usable and you can get good gameplays with them all of the assault rifles are fun to use it's all of the LMGs are actually really fun as well so like there could be so much variation in this game but everyone just limits themselves to the bar because it is overpowered so for me they just need to nerf this gun completely I don't know what you think just let me know down in the comments as well what you think I feel like because um, what they've been doing is just adding recoil to the gun and that isn't the issue for me like what it is is it's like a free hit kill across the map and it has a fast fire rate so they either need to make it so it recalls unbelievably like a lot because at the minute like it's been added there's added recall to the weapon twice now and it is still easily controllable all you have to do is pull down on your right thumbstick and it's basically a laser which really it shouldn't be if, you, if you're trying to add recall just give it a shit turn so that you need to run grip and you need to run red dot to actually use the gun because people are still using it like I don't use grip on it it's not needed it's so controllable it just goes straight up it's like the most controllable recoil you can have so for me to fix this what they, they've got like two options to make this gun more balanced and to get the more variation in the game so what they can do is either just like destroy the range of the gun and make it more like a four hit kill than a three hit kill um, maybe even add a five shot kill range because I'm pretty sure it doesn't even have one I haven't looked at the hard numbers but by everyone using the gun I mean getting mounted by it when I'm using an SMG I can pretty much say it it kills in too like it kills too quickly the amount of bullets it has or what they can do is keep it at the same damage it's at now same range and just nerf the fire rate and just make it shoot really really slow I feel like that would be the better option to go with because like if you the ranges and damage it's kind of it's quite complicated how it all works but just slowing down the fire rate that's a, a way to just dramatically decrease the time no increase the time to kill i was about to say buff the bloody gunning then need to get my, my words right but yeah so if they um increase the time to kill by de decreasing the fire rate i feel like that'd be a good way to balance this gun if you agree with me let me know i feel like 
that would be the best bet. It's probably the easiest thing to do, and it's the one that you're going to see like the most improvement with. Because at the minute, everyone just runs rapid fire in it, and it shoots so fast. If you played World at War, you'll know how slow the bar shot. Like it was unbelievably slow at shooting. So I kind of I don't <laughs> whether I want it that slow. I don't know, but it needs to be changed. That's for sure because it does. It shoots way too fast. It's like kind of reminds me of the. the uh, HBR Insanity from Advanced Warfare, which was probably the most overpowered variant in the game. But this is just a gun everyone can use, so it's just annoying every single game. So, um, yeah, that's this video. If you did enjoy it, definitely drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'm definitely going to be doing more of these uh, like weapon variant kind of review things. I've got a lot of the variants, as I said. I've got the Type 100 Heroic. I've got the PPSH Heroic. I've got so many heroic guns, I've got the FG42 heroic, so I'm going to get gameplays with all of these guns and yeah, just bring these weapon reviews. I did actually get to comment on like the aesthetics of this gun, so this bar actually looks really sexy and if you can get like diamond camo, gold camo, it will look nice. I actually don't have gold on it yet because I haven't really used the gun that much. I've actually been having fun using all the SMGs, some of the other weaker, I saw I was like the STG. But ever since I got this variant, I was kind of just like, I need to use this gun because I'm going to get extra XP and it's really easy. And everyone else uses it, so it'll be nice and easy for me to play. But yeah, as I said, it's been the Gibbonator. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one, boys. Peace.